Hello, my name is Quint McKee with Industrial Power Truck and Equipment, aka IP Truck here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today I'm super excited to present to you the all new 2020 Isuzu NRR diesel single cab paired with our very own switch and go hoist system. Now most of you may be very familiar with the Isuzu brand being the king of the cab over for well over 35 years here in North America, boasting over a 75% market share in most all 35 of those years. But what most of you probably aren't very familiar with right now is the brand new switch and go hoist. Here at Industrial Power, we've taken on the responsibility of becoming a switch and go dealer to give our landscapers and our construction people a little bit more versatility to be more proficient and a little bit more efficient going down the road. Now the switch and go hoist system is a really nice opportunity for you to turn one truck into as many as six trucks uh, with its different variations. Here in Industrial Power, we commonly spec uh, this particular drop box, as well as a chipper arbor box and a landscape dump box. Now what this is going to do is allow you to place some of these boxes on your job site and then go along with your day. Or if, uh, if you're a landscaper and maybe 20%, 25% of the year you need an arbor or chipper box, you can easily take this off and put on that as well and save you up to $85,000 by buying uh, this truck over buying a brand new chipper. Now this particular drop box is gonna be a 14 foot drop box. And it's really nice construction, really nice build, all the way down to the smaller things like the, the uh, welds here. They've really taken their time to craft this to be an extremely durable and reliable uh, tool for you on the job sites. They've even done some of the smaller things such as this little tie down rod here that's welded on. So you can, any kind of tar uh, tarping system or canopy system, you can easily tie down with uh, to secure that load when you're going down the road, as well as a little uh, safety feature such as this, um, this hooking system, which is gonna allow for the barn doors to swing open and hook in, so when your guys are behind this truck, you don't have to worry about the barn doors closing or opening on you. Another nice little feature they've put on here is these uh, steel piloted uh, hinges here that are gonna be self-greased so you're going to reduce the risk of cracking those as well as reducing the amount of rust uh, over the years. So you have many, many years of, of usage of these trucks with very minimal uh, maintenance. Now, again, the construction of this truck is a really, really nice build. Uh, you can see inside here, we've got the D-rings on the bottom of the floor as well as the top. So any kind of tarping system, again, the canopy system can easily be secured as well as some of your larger equipment uh, such as skid steers or any other kind of rolling equipment that you want to make sure it's tied down, you can easily do so as well. Now both of these uh, barn doors will open wide, so loading and unloading this truck is extremely safe and extremely quick. I do want to point out here that Industrial Power, we did mount this truck and we went ahead and put on a ball pin as well as pendle hitch uh, a towing package as well as a uh, trailer wiring harness kit here. So. Uh, if you do have that trailer hitch, or if you do have that trailer combination that you want to pull down the road, you can do that safely with, uh, with this truck as being an all-in-one uh, kit for you. As well as a backup camera allows for easy backup and safety uh, when you're at the job site or when you're loading this box. And we'll point that out a little bit later on too when we're loading and unloading this box. A great feature we've added onto this truck is a side door entry. This is going to allow for your drivers and your uh, crewmen to easily load from the curb side. So when you drop this off on the street level, let's just say a street level, uh, and you're uh, hauling in a wheelbarrow, it will easily marry up. So getting in and out of this body is extremely easy for your crew. We've also gone ahead and put on a uh, toolbox here that's going to be diamond steel uh, for longevity. It will not rust and it has a three shelf system. And so any kind of hand tools or any guys that have uh, their PPE gear that they want to keep out of the elements, they can store it here and have that going from job site to job site and not worry about not having that with them at all times. So now that we've taken a really good look around this truck, let's see it in action. So I pointed out earlier just how easy it is to demount and to mount this body system using this super simple hoist control system. I do want to point out real quick too, there are two points that you can connect the, uh, the controller to. One right here on the hoist system itself. So if your crew wants to try and unload this thing from outside the cab, they can. Or from inside the cab, using this super simple 
control system. It's only a two-stage with a hoist and a winch. Uh, you can do that from the comfort of your cab or from right here and allow your crew to be behind. So again, it's super easy to control this thing. Lift the hoist and allow the bed to be raised. And what you're shooting for here is about a 40 to 50 degree angle. Or the easiest way to do it is to actually see the front of the hoist come to right about the top of the cab or just above it. So we're right about there. We'll go ahead and start letting the winch out. And it's super simple. All you do is allow for the bed and the hoist system to work for you. The bed will come down and start on the rollers and will simply roll off the back of the truck. What's really nice to point out too is even with this uneven surface that this pavement has right now, you can see it still rolls off just fine. And now you're able to just unhook the winch and drive off. So now that we have the box on the ground, I want to show you the business end of this truck and show you just how easy it is to use and how versatile it can be for your job sites from on the ground perspective. The sides here are going to be 52 inches tall, which is giving you ample uh, material space or up to 14 cubic feet of material can fit in the back of this truck, roughly about 8,000 pounds worth of payload capacity. Now that's going to give you plenty of uh, capacity to get your product from point A to point B while still doing it safely and a legal load going down the road. But I did want to point out just how tall this box is and how versatile it would be for you on the job site. I also pointed out that this is a, the, it does give you the ability to uh, drive this truck without the box and that's primarily due to this fender wells here that allows you to safely and legally move this truck without a body on because the splash is going to be on the fenders and not going to the other persons behind you or to the side of you. Again, we are a switch and go uh, hoist dealer. And so we do have the ability to maintain and repair the entire system here at Industrial Power. To pair that with our uh, 35 years of experience with Yuzuzu, we're literally your one-stop shop for all of your truck needs. And again, they just did a really, really great job of mounting this 15,000 pound hoist system. Uh, so uh, again, uh, we can maintain and repair 100% because we were the ones that actually put this uh, system on. Now let's go ahead and put this truck back on uh, to the rails here. And all you want to do is make sure that hoist system is all the way to the top when you're putting it back on. That's pretty good right there. And we'll go ahead and start loading it back on. And once most of the weight is right there on those yellow caps, like it is right there, go ahead and start bringing down the hoist to right about the same pitch that we had it at when we let it out. And you'll start riding the chassis or the, uh, the guard rails all the way up to the top. When the wheels in the rear lift up from the ground, you want to go ahead and start bringing that hoist. When the wheels of the ground are come off the ground, you want to go ahead and start bringing that hoist system down and allow that winch uh, a little bit more breathing room. right about there and then continue to winch it up you don't want to come all the way down because it is going to have a, a safety latch system and once it comes to the full hook right there we'll go ahead and bring it completely down and when it sits down on the chassis rails it'll lock into place and allow you to safely maneuver this truck 
So now that we've seen this truck in action, demounting and mounting is super, super easy. Go to our LinkedIn, YouTube, Facebook pages. Give us a follow on all three. Go to our website at iptruck.com. Put an inquiry in our trucks and one of our salesmen will contact you directly. Again, I appreciate your time today. Have a great day.